Brian Christgau, who I always have to say, he's got, he's such a good writer. I love his books. Uh, but he says, not to, to be all braggadocious or virtue signal, but I had to quit my job last year to take care of my mom when she got Alzheimer's, and I still managed to fulfill four campaigns. Yeah. Fantastic. That's awesome. No, and, and, that, and that's pretty amazing. I think that there are... There's a number of things things to consider, um, and it's and I'm not making it any excuses. I mean, I think that no, there are I, certain choices that I think that we could have made to potentially fill fulfill sooner. And this was something I, I kind of wanted to get back to. Um, two two main things. One, I'm glad that, mm. uh, and, and I, I am very very sorry that it took as long as it did. At the same time. It would not have been as good of a project if it came out any sooner. Yeah, uh, we would not have had the same things in place. Uh, it, I don't think it would have been as prepped to do as much as we are doing with it. We're in yeah. a much different place professionally. Yeah, than I than we were ten years There's ago. So many things just in the last year. I you know, you know what? Too? For years. Ultimately, the book is finished. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, well, you're you're good. Well, it, well the thing too good. is like I mean, I, there's even just in the last year where I where we were like, okay, we're doing the final, final. After looking at some of these pages for years and pouring over all these pages for years and me read just, because we had the time where we were getting all the rest of the production finished up, I was able to re-go over the script yeah, you've again. Yeah, the and there were so many things, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so glad that this, I got, because now that the version of the script and the dialogue is like so much stronger than it ever was before, which, you know, it would have been nice to get it out. 10 years ago, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm grateful that I was able to really make the story as yeah. strong as, as it is now because we had the time. Well, and there's a, there's a double page spread at the end of yeah. issue four that I couldn't have drawn 10 years ago. I don't, I just don't even think I had the mind to, or I don't know, I just hadn't had the experience drawing scenes like that where I would yeah. have been able to compose that or do it, mm. you know? So that's not to say like, uh, you know, hold off doing your dreams until you're good enough. Like that's not the lesson here, but right. I just think that it allowed us to put out a product. Now, it, I don't know. It's just it's it's really hard to put into context how different Kickstarter is than was then than it is now. And you know, I I talk to my students um, all the time now about like how to run a Kickstarter and how not to. And it's so funny because I'm sitting here preaching like this is how not to do it. Let me pull up my Kickstarter, everybody. And they're like, ah! And I'm like, all right, let's get into it, guys. This is how you don't do it. Yeah. Um, but then the idea, though, is that, sure, yeah, you know, I could bang out four Kickstarters or just anybody. And that's not, I'm not even talking about, you know, the comment that we just got, but I'm just saying you could run a Kickstarter for $500. And and, and this is actually uh, an, an example I use in class very specifically. Mm -hmm is that it's actually very, very smart. Run a Kickstarter for like $500 on like a sticker set. Right? Oh, or a, like a Pogs and trading card set. Oh, something you like, know. Yeah, there we go. Something like that. <laughs> yes, something that it, that you can fulfill, something that with uh, your outreach, family, friends, uh, your social network, you know you can fulfill, right? So you not only fulfill, but you can hit the campaign and fulfill. And then, you know, here you've got 49 backers you're going to produce way more than the content uh, that it will take to fulfill those 49 backers. So then when you run your next Kickstarter, then one, you not only do you have a fulfilled Kickstarter under your belt, but you also have surplus of goods to use as rewards for your next Kickstarter. Then you run a second Kickstarter for whatever uh, issue two, or you even preferably not a comic yet, potentially, but yeah. Maybe enamel pins or something that's a higher dollar amount, but then you have your sticker set, your pogs, your um, enamel pins yeah. or whatever, and you build it up to the point where you've got three to four or five Kickstarters under your belt. None of them are you pushing for the ten, fifteen thousand dollar mark yet. You're really looking for that sweet spot of you know maybe first is three to five hundred five hundred dollars, the second one uh, one to two thousand dollars. The sweet spot for comics because um, we had. Uh, the the head of Kickstarter for graphic novels and comics come down to SCAD and speak to the students uh, specifically cool. and said that the the mean uh, campaign that funds is the mean amount is at the three to four thousand dollar range for a single issue comic now that's wow. low that's very low. that's yeah. very low to get it funded as far as like actually 
you know, for it to pay for itself. But those are the ones that are a successful campaign. So if you can get at least one successful campaign done, then it's more likely you can get a second one done. Yeah. Because that shows like a, yeah. a, a proof of the success and yeah. a confidence in buying. And you can bring, you build up all that, that audience who then is like, yeah, we'll totally right. follow you to the next one because we know you can deliver and we like what you've done. And it's also yeah. much more likely that you're gonna be able to do an eight or $9,000 Kickstarter for your second one, right? Yeah. And then you build yeah. on that. But see, right. yeah, but, th but this builds up to it. And then these become those extra incentives for when you do put the book out, then they become your stretch goal, all that yeah. kind of stuff that you can throw in. Put them on your website afterward. Yeah, yeah. yeah. absolutely.